with seven super typhoons in the 2024 typhoon season. That year racked up the highest amount since 2018, when there were several very powerful typhoons across the basin. However, what was most different about the 2024 season is how backloaded it was with very powerful typhoons happening near the end of the season, and many of them really slamming into several land areas, including the Philippines, which was battered during the latter part of 2024. Indeed, that year also saw the most devastating impacts in terms of raw numbers of buildings damaged and destroyed since the 2020 season. With the ENSO pattern looking to remain in the cold neutral range during the 2025 season, how would the year cope? Would there be more powerful storms and a similar pattern to the previous year? Pulse 13's predictions were laid out earlier in the season. We are expecting then 25 tropical storms in total, 15 typhoons and 8 major category 3 typhoons. We are a bit concerned that there's a few strong, strong analogues that have powerful typhoons. In fact, we're giving this year a 1 in 3 chance, 33% of a Category 5 landfall once again somewhere in the Western Pacific. And you guessed it, number one hotspot for that is the Philippines. And so the stage is set. This is the 2025 Pacific Typhoon Season Animation. So the Western Pacific finally has its first tropical cyclone and although it's not looking quite as good right now as it did earlier, it does have a decent circulation and appears to be intensifying. Well there is Wiffa right now, 50 mph pressure 987 millibars, a low pressure for its wind speed due to its enormous size. Signal 2 warnings are in effect for the northernmost provinces, including the islands offshore, and a Signal 1 warning extending as far south as Aurora. Pagkatapos sa pangalanan na Emong ng pag-asa ngayong umaga ay nag-rapid intensify pa ang bagyong ito at binigyan na ng pangalan na Komay ng JMA, ito ang kanyang international name.
An intensifying typhoon approaching the coast of southern Taiwan this evening. This is Typhoon Podal, a Category 1 and strengthening and could end up in a higher category before it arrives tomorrow afternoon. An incredibly powerful typhoon is affecting the northern Philippine Islands right now, Typhoon Regassa, Philippine name Nando, currently located just off the northeastern tip of Luzon. So our latest tropical storm to be affecting the Philippines right now is Buoloy, Philippine name Opong, likely to become a typhoon, possibly before landfall. Typhoon Kalmegi is making landfall right now in the southern portions of the Philippines as a Category 2 typhoon on the South Pacific Hurricane Wind Scale. Very large typhoon named Feng Wong, Philippine name Uwan, is continuing towards the Philippines today, now a Category 1 and strengthening.